Greetings, Javel Weirs. It's Tommy here, and welcome to episode 3 of Minecraft Mudding for Beginners. And, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to uh, go around with the shit. Oh, wait, I gotta start this? Okay, kind of, kind of, yeah. Because I don't want to end up like in the middle when I'm explaining something, like, oh. I was just explaining something. Now it stopped. Because this thing is only 15 minutes. I don't know why. But it only is. So. I'm going to teach you a bit about where you put your textures and stuff when you test your mod. So you got your MCP, right? Well, there's two ways you can test it. You can put your textures. Uh, you declare your textures where they want to be uh, in the Minecraft.jar. Is one. If we just open it up then your textures is going to be it could just be png files <coughs> in here or to make it like the way we want it in a folder and what i do is actually a bit complicated i make it so that it's in a folder called java buckets in a folder that's called whatever the mod's name is and then you go into that let's just see if there's any folder with a folder i think it's in the no yeah and there's like the mod's name and then there's in the Star Wars mod in the Star Wars mod there is blocks items and all that so there's kind of three folders that's a lot of folders but the Java Buckets folder here it contains if you have more than one mod installed from Java Buckets it contains all of them so it's a bit easy to look around if you need a Java Buckets mod and then you say oh Java Buckets mod and then choose the mod and then you can change texture or whatever you want to do if you think it's not or something you got a better idea or something it's up to you so how you do that is when you test it because you don't put it in here though it is in your mcp no if we test it in eclipse eclipse is very cool because it has this run feature let me just try it out and since there's no errors we can go ahead and run minecraft as you can see and uh it will start a Minecraft and there should be no errors there's no errors Elf Minecraft would have done the you know Minecraft has crashed because of blah 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 and it, if you ever get that it, when you're a modder don't quit it down because you f you'll find the error there okay so now you can just play whatever now if you want to load the texture you have to if you use that one you have to put your fo um, thingies in the Eclipse client bin this bin folder in here you put if it was on uh, my Star Wars mod I have a Java bucket folder in here and then double click Star Wars double click block items all that shit that's the one way you could do it you can also test Minecraft through the start client but there is something bad about that before you do it you gotta wait let me see if it actually works yes and it shouldn't crash actually minecraft right now doesn't know that there is a java file called mod underscore tutorial it doesn't know and why you might be saying see it works uh... it still has the same saves cause all the saves are saved in the jars folder as you can see now it made a dot micro folder kind of with saves resources mods all that shit can't fix it has the mod underscore tutorial though i'm pretty sure that this one doesn't know it because what you're going to do is you've got to recompile before. So you got to recompile, which can take, depending on your computer. Um, when I got my computer, it took like 8 seconds. But let's just go ahead and see what it takes. No, I'm just going to pause the video and I'll be back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. So it was like done in 18 seconds, which is not that lot. It's very short, uh, fast. And then you can start client, I'm pretty sure try to do it without first because I want to see if that works but that's how you do the textures oh yeah I, I forgot to say if you do that the start client thing then the, the textures remember I said it was going to be in the bin folder well then you just put it in here now you do minecraft in here okay so bin bin minecraft in here if you look at this folder it's actually start the class org net argo and if we go into here there's start org net argo it's the same and it uh, contains all the same shit so 
it's just for loading textures so bin minecraft if you're using start client if you're using eclipse which i do you put it in the eclipse folder client bin but there is something bad about this <coughs> sometimes when you put it in here here uh sometimes the textures disappear the folder disappears so what i recommend you doing is make a copy out of it here uh, let me just show you an example of my Star Wars mod. Here, if I go into here, the folder's here, but I did back it up here. So as you can see, I have Java Buckets, Star Wars, all this shit. Uh, we can go in Maps. We have the Bookie, which haven't been added yet. <coughs> but yeah, so that's basically how you do it. And um, yeah, uh, you don't have to put these files in here, but I think just did that for me actually. I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird. And there uh, we have my block, so that's how I do it. And um, that's how I would recommend you doing it. Like I would recommend you putting up your mod underscore file like this with all this shit and all this shit, though it's not kind of there it is there but only in your eyes not in the computer eyes computer's eyes <laughs> it doesn't recognize this as being well it does recognize it being text but strings but not uh, in the code it only recognizes that that or you can't just kinda just and then also take that no we're holding control down and then that so yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to show you today. And, ah, oh, what's your short episode? Well, I guess it also was a bit easy, so. Yeah, um, I'm going to end this now. So about, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it if it helped you. And, uh, well, it will not help you because you haven't made any blocks or stuff yet. But I'm going to teach you the next story, which I will make later today. Because I feel doing it. <laughs> and it's December. So I, yeah I did actually make uh, my room look Christmassy. I got some flashlights. I got a Christmas man. No. Snowman glowing. I got a lot of stuff actually. And I'm just, I just want to keep getting more. Because I love Christmas. Who doesn't? <laughs> and I love, I love decoration. So yeah. I've decorated my room a lot. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.